Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Happy 2023. Can you fucking believe it? Uh, I can't. I can't believe it's 2023. It's fucking insane. Anyway, it is a new year. I am in a new country. <laughs> it's so, uh, it's interesting to be back in Canada. It is, it is very, very snowy where I am right now. Um, but honestly, the cold hasn't been too bad just yet. So, hey, here we are. I appreciate those of you who are returning. If you are returning, hello, welcome back. It is so great to see you. And if you're new here, hi, how are you? It's good to meet you. All right, you guys, uh, let's get into what this week has in store for us. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be curious. Let's see here. This is for the week of January 8th, 2023. If you guys want, geez, wheeze. If you guys <laughs> want to get uh, a year ahead reading, they are only uh, being offered until the 15th. So you only have a couple days left. Check out my website, link in the description, yada, yada, yada. I do not solicitate, <laughs> I was trying to say felicitate and, um, Oh, now the word just left me. Fuck. Anyway, I don't solicit, that's the word, I don't solicit readings in any sort of DMs or anything like that. So just putting that disclaimer out there, okay? <laughs> I only book through my website. So let's get into it here. What do we need to know is the collective for this week of January 8th? 23. All right. Seven of Cups. We have uh, a little bit of overwhelm, confusion, lots of, you know, this or that, you know, there's kind of that what the fuck energy here with the Seven of Cups. The Devil in Reverse, though, tells me that if we catch ourselves, if we're aware of this, we're going to be able to nip it in the bud pretty quickly. You know, we're going to be able to catch it. We're going to be able to get rid of it and uh, streamline our thinking a little bit. But it needs to be that sort of, you need to pay attention. Or you can have this potential of getting trapped in your thoughts, which will make you spiral. A couple more cards fell out here. All right, we have the three of coins. All right, this is a good week for collaborations. Um... All right, I just heard the, the words close the book. I feel like somebody wants to close the book on a collaboration. Now, whether that's you're wanting to close the book on a collaboration with somebody else or they're wanting to not have anything to do with you. <sighs> Their spirit's also saying, leave the door open. Don't be too hasty, okay? Make sure that all the T's and the I's you know, like T's are crossed, I's are dotted, and you you aren't making decisions out of emotions, right? We just had that um, full moon in Cancer on Friday. So there's, there's a lot of emotions um, kind of running high. So make sure that you are making very grounded decisions. And it's not being run strictly by emotion. Okay, so that's my little disclaimer. Same, it's it's the same with the like the the overwhelm and the confusion, right? It's like oh, our our um our emotions kind of take over, and it's very easy to just be like whatever. It's not the week to do that. Okay, um, perhaps it's you want to ask others. Hey, reach out to your friends. How are you guys feeling with this? Like, is this just me or? You know, don't be afraid to reach out, ask for help. Not a week for romance. New romance, <laughs> okay? Not a week for new romance, but established relationships are actually going to do really well. All right? So um, if you're single, um, <laughs> beware the tricksters and the, and the play, you know 
the fuck boys and girls. Do you know what I mean? Um, there's a tendency for like a lot of falseness if you're single. However, really focus on family this week. Really focus on close relationships, right? Um, for a lot of us, our friends are just like our family. Ten of Cups here, lots, lots of family vibes here. So whether it's your, your family that are friends or your family family or, you know, your romantic partnerships, work on that, okay? That should be our focus. Ask for their help in talking things through. All right, Five of Wands. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this feels like, okay. This is like something different. So I feel like, this is very much, you know, the at home energy. And then we're hitting the five of wands where it's like conflict, but this is like collective energy, right? So if like this is at home, now we're talking the wide world stage. In fact, I'm actually going to move on and completely move this to the side because this is something different. Okay. This is our home life. This is like you might find that people are just fucking testy this week, okay? They're just a little, they're like, ooh, itching for a fight. But we kind of talked about that, if you remember right off the hop here. We sort of talked about how, like, it's very easy to let the emotions run the show. So, because we're aware of it, we can kind of nip it in the bud. For those who aren't aware of this, there's a good chance that people are just, like, wanting to fucking pick fights. They're showing me cars and, like, road rage. So be very, very cognizant as well while you're driving this week. Um, you may find there's a lot of conflict in the news and, like, fights and things like that. If you can, don't engage. Really... Watch yourself when you're, like, in a car or transportation of some sort. Just stay out of it. Keep your nose clean, okay? Just focus on, like I said, your family, your inner tribe. And pay no attention to this. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Because this is, like, it's, like, it's around, but it doesn't have to touch you. Do you know what I mean? Oh... Somebody's getting money or like an investment opportunity or an opportunity for a raise. Maybe somebody's going on holidays for a couple weeks and you're stepping into a supervisory role. You know, something like that. This is a second message in regards to this when I'm seeing the two of these together. Watch what you're consuming this week. I feel like... How do I put this into words? Uh, like drama sells, right? So if you can, remember we talked about not engaging in the, in the drama in the real world, but also what you're watching, you know, what are you feeding? What are you giving your energy to? Like what, for instance, what are you watching on YouTube? Um, like, because your ads are giving these YouTubers money. So make sure that it's something that you're really 100% behind. I love how I say that. I'm a YouTuber and I use that as, an, as a description. So that's fine. Um, but just beware and very conscious of, like, if you buy something this week, like, really make sure that it, you're consciously using your money the way you want to. I hope that makes sense. Like, is who you're giving your money to worth it? You know? The store that you're buying your milk from, is it a big grocery chain that has good morals that you feel aligned with? Or is it like a little mom and pop store? Or is it someone that you're just like, I have never really thought of it. Who cares? I need a jug of milk. Do you know what I mean? So that's 
that's weird. I don't usually get messages quite like that, but they're just like, just be aware of it. That's a message for somebody anyway. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be some willpower involved to not get involved in any sort of conflicts. <laughs> um, I get it, but again, warning, don't run into don't run into traps, you guys. Don't engage. Bite your fucking tongues this week, and I know that is hard, especially with this added oomph of, you know, the emotions wanting to run the show. Oh, keep uh, keep it locked up. All right? <laughs> keep it locked up. Not a not a week for any sort of major movements, okay? I wouldn't go on any sort of long trips or even date. If you're if you're going on day trips or having commutes, like I said, just be very very um be very careful when you're behind the wheel, all right? Or on the train or in a in an Uber or a taxi. Like just awareness, awareness, awareness. Be mindful of your surroundings. Be mindful of your surroundings, okay? Focus, page of cups. Some of you are gonna get information this week. Some of you are gonna get little messages. Some of you are gonna get creative um, nudges, but like, Again, like this is the cups, right? It's very emotional. You're going to just feel very like, ooh, I feel motivated, you know? Um, so, like I said, don't let the emotions rule this week, but you can let them, you know, nudge you. Don't let them run the show, but do listen to what your emotions are trying to tell you. Nine of swords. All right. A little bit of insomnia, a little bit of disappointment. Yeah, again, this is the wide world stage. There's just going to be a lot of like, you know what, you guys don't even listen to the to the to the media. Like, um, turn off the news. You know, don't pay attention to any of that. I feel like there's just going to be a lot of things that are like trying to amp up the fear and the worry and the disappointment this week. Um, and it's going to take willpower to, again, not engage in that either. But you don't need that. Like, again, this, this doesn't have to touch you. What a strange week. What a strange week. Let's just pull a couple more cards. But you don't have to, yeah, you don't have to, um, yeah, King of Cups. Stay in control, like we said, stay in control of your emotions, stay in control of what you are consuming, stay in control, and just have a nice balance this week. Focus on people. Focus on conversation. Focus on, you know, creating a nice loving environment. Don't, um, that's going to propel you forward. Don't buy into this fear and conflict and everything's hard and blah, 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 blah. Like that's, that's not meant for you this week. It's meant to throw you off balance if you buy into it with the nine of pentacles in reverse here. Okay. We don't want that energy. We want the nice, fiery, excited, moving forward energy. And it's finding that nice balance, right? With the king of cups in the center here. So yeah. Yeah. Watch what, uh, you know what? Awareness, awareness, awareness. Be mindful. Um, don't let the emotions run. So, you know, be careful about collaborations. Who are you cutting out? Remember, they said leave the door open. Not, not all the way wide open, but just a crack. You know, like, don't burn any bridges this week. That kind of ties into the conflict that we saw, right? So... Don't burn any bridges. Just do your own thing. Okay? Turn off the news. <laughs> do what makes you happy, balanced, centered, and focus on your family. Whether that's the family you choose or the family you're born with or both. All right? 
I appreciate you guys being here. You are like my family. I really do appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. Welcome to 2023. I'm excited to see what it fucking brings us. It's, uh, it's a time to live boldly, you guys. I'm pretty pumped. All right, we will talk very soon on the next video. Bye.